open letter to Festus Egbarewa at Deni Kenyamo. We are grossly disappointed. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Dear Adeni Kenyamo, I want to thank you for your selfless service to Nigeria and humanity. Your achievement in the Lego space is beyond imagination and today you represent one of the best legal minds on the continent of Africa. I pray you will continue to excel in all that you do. Everything and anything you, you touch shall become good as it has always been with you. I am concerned and disturbed by your utterances after watching your recent interview with Arise News. First, permit me to digress and congratulate you on your appointment as the DG of a Siwaji campaign. I am disturbed because you represent a role model to millions of Nigerians. All your life you have stood on the side of the truth, justice and the common man. You do not have a record of defending the indefensible. You are a senior advocate of Nigeria a highly respected group of few Nigerians that you expect that your actions in words and deeds will not degrade the sound society. Dino Malaya was spot on when he said you have never won or contested an election. I agree with Dino because you are a technocrat, a technical professional, and it is best to step aside from the role of an attack dog, which is best performed by politicians. You are not a career politician. You are a technocrat for God's sake. You are also a man of faith as a member of Jehovah Witness. There is no right to wrong association with the support of Tinubu, Atiku, APC or PDP. It is a choice and it is also democracy. All progressive Congress is not a party of angels and the People Democratic Party is not a party of demons. We witness corruption in the People Democratic Party. We have also seen grand corruption in the All Progressive Congress. Everything good or bad and the People Democratic Party or NPN exist in the All Progressive Congress. No one has the monopoly of knowledge, and you are not an exception. Your mentor, Liz Gani Fawohimi, vowed never to defend politicians charged with corruption. In doing so, he put his country and conscience first above money or legal practice. Those that are not supporting your principle have a right to do so and deserve respect. As a son, we expect you to be very civil in the discharge of your duties as spokesperson for our Siwaju 2023. I also expect that you will follow the path of civility and decorum exhibited by the likes of Dr. Daniel Brawler and Kaide Ajulo. We expect issue-based discourse and intellectual ex exchanges from a son and not to modify to personality attacks. It is your right to support any candidate of your choice. In doing so, please remember your country, your conscience and your God. After all, God has blessed you beyond your wildest expectations. The least you can do now is to speak and stand by the truth. I listened to your defense of faith, of same faith ticket, and I laughed. I listened to your definition of a role of a VP, and I cried. I cried because a lawyer, a son, should never engage in such misinformation. Millions of Nigerians look up to you. In closing, I wish you the best in your new role as spokesperson for a Siwaji campaign. Please. Live the job of politics for politician. God bless you and highly accept the assurance of my highest regard. Well, well, well. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Please, though, I just want to exempt myself. I want to say something. Please, to your loan. I am not saying he's not my role model. Please. Eh, please. Eh, let's get some things clear. And I'm sure as I'm raising my hope now to say he's not my role model. So many people are among uh, uh, the fellow Nigerians that are saying that. Now, that being said, Kenya Mo has, there is no how you are going to support the All Progressive Congress. I keep saying this, and you're not going to sound very rational. There is no way you want to support them and support them to the fullest. They're not going to sound as if, you know, you need uh, you need something like brain check. This person don't listen to Kenya Mo. Come, come, say, ah, I'm on a wow. Just like people that were listening to FFK say, here. Yeah? So woman be be like this, hey, now so it be. These people, whenever they join this their APC party or a political party, and they are in pursuit of something, forget now something. When they find make that they do this thing, they are in pursuit of something. They don't seem to care. They put, they remove their conscience and throw it away. They remove everything that will speak to them. They will give them a nudge. They say, "Oh God." This thing you're doing is wrong. They remove it and throw it aside. That's what those people do. Quite mature advice. 
Dr. Hakim is a true Nigerian in intent and purpose. I wish this is how most of our Nigerians are dealt, especially others think. Sir, God may continue to bless you with wisdom and also may he protect you always. Your life will shall be longer so that many will learn from you. May your children become the deserved Nigerian brains that will stand out for our dear country so that we will not miss a type and may Nigeria become a dream nation. Mm. Okay. No wahala. <laughs> no problem. If Malaya has won election, this is good for him. But has Malaya ever been a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Has Malaya ever defended anybody in court pro bono before? You cannot be everywhere. Festus will reply you at an appropriate time. Both Festus and uh, Edino Milaye, they are looking for the same thing, Nigerians. Oh. Uh -uh. They are both looking for the same thing. They are looking for food, Drew. Yes, because tell me, if it is not food, what will make these people remove their conscience, remove their ability to reason well, eh? and come and be spilling what they are spilling on screen? They don't have any method to sell their candidates. They don't have any method to market their candidates. All they do is to come out and attack. This one will attack, this one will attack, this one will demarket, and this one will demarket. Is that the right way to go? But sincerely, this period of time won't allow me this thing to continue. Let's see where to lead them to. Because me, I know that me and Nigerians will be saying our head correct. We don't already know who we will vote for. Now, who sell himself to us well? Nobody who come, come attack another person. Okay. This is what your back call Beri Kwako. I hope he will read and digest the letter and take a very deep reflection and be gathered going for the earth. Uh, it will not happen, but I am, you know, that I'm certain, uh, let's see how it goes, sure. I never believed that Festus Kenyama can be such a monumental dis disappointment to the common Nigerians. In those days when he used to shout on top of his voice on matters concerning building a new society with equity and justice, I never knew it was all about his stomach. Ghani will be rolling his grave and gross disbelief of the new Kenyama and his brand new character of associate. Uh, okay, you have my respect, sir. It has been well thought of advice to a man who has decided to throw his reputation to the mud because of stomach infrastructure. However, I know for certain that Kanyama will never accept a piece of advice. Exactly. Nobody say I want sound to convince him, but my mind is just telling me that he's not going to accept it. He's not. The thing is, whatever they are bent on, he get with and define. They don't mind to do the undoable. They don't think until they don't get him. And this is why, you see that adage that said, the end justify the means. I can never ever agree with it. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.